15 times in that three-day battle. And many of you, you may not understand what the flag or the armor bearer represents. Uh, the, the armor bearer or the one carrying that flag is probably one of the most uh, uh, biggest targets out there on the battlefield. Because they're walking out there carrying that flag and that's pretty much all that they have. But that flag uh, is hope to the troops that are supporting it and that are rallying behind it. That flag failed 14 times during that battle. And so what that means is the one that was carrying that flag either was severely wounded or lost their life. And so each time that flag failed, Someone in the rear had to put down their weapon and go out there and take up that flag. Amen. Because if the flag stays down, then that represents defeat. That represents that we're not moving forward and we're not going to make it. Right. Hey, I've got a reason to stay back here because I've seen one, two, three, four, five people lose their life carrying that flag. I've got a reason to stay back here and be protected uh, with my own weapon because I don't want to fall like that one before me. But somebody back there in, uh, along the fighting line said, hey, I've got a reason to get up there and pick up that flag and continue to move the fight forward. I want you to understand today, it doesn't matter how many times the flag falls, somebody needs to create a reason to get up, to go up to the forefront and lift the flag high and say we're moving forward in Jesus name there is nobody and nothing going to stop us hallelujah Hallelujah, we are created in the image of God. And just like you and I are creatures of reason, our God is a reason. Yes. He's a God of reason. Yes, he and He's looking for reasons to do things also. He's looking for reasons to lift you up higher. Amen. He's looking for a reason to reach down in this place today and bless you. He's looking for a reason to say, hey, I want to give them exactly what they've been asking for. Hallelujah. He's looking for a reason. I'm not going to sit there with my arms folded. I'm going to give you a reason, God. I know you've heard the old saying, the squeaky, squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hey, bring some of that holy anointing oil down here and pour it on me, God. I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something today. It's good preaching. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me tell you something today. Sometimes yes. we don't get our answers because we haven't given Him a reason to answer us. Right. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. Say that again. Sometimes, thank you. Sometimes <laughs> we don't get our answers because we haven't given Him a reason to answer us. That's right. God's Word says, if you will, I will. Yes. God says, if you will, I will ask you to stand to your feet Praise right now. God. Hallelujah. That's reason enough for God. God. You see, let's give God a reason to bless us. Yes. Let's give God a reason to answer a prayer tonight, uh, today. The only reason that God needs to bless you is found in our scripture text today. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Amen. There I am in the midst of them. I want you to bow your heads and I want you to close your eyes. Yes, Verse 19 says, Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. I don't know what need you have in your life today. But I'm sure, I'm sure you can find one other person. You've got a need, a pressing need. You've got whether it's physical, spiritual, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional, whether it's financial. You may have a need today that there is no hope for. There is no answer for. I want you to know the scripture says if you, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything. 
You don't get what you're looking for. You need to find somebody today if you have a need in your life and you need to take them by the hand or bring them down here and say, I need you to agree with me on this right here so that I get the answer that I'm looking for. You see, give God a reason to bless you. Maybe everything in your life is all right and it's all peachy king and everything's just going real smooth and good. Well, then you need to create a reason to come down here and worship God. McDonald's will be, still be open later on in the day. Western Sizzling will still be waiting for you. But I want you to know God is here right now because we gather together in His name and He's here to serve up bountiful blessings. He's here to take care of your need. He's here to supply for you. I make you a promise today according to God's Word. If you will, God will. If you have a need, bring it here today. Pray and believe. Amen. If you've got a, if you can't find a reason, create a reason to get up out of your seat and come down here and just lift up your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, I've got a reason. I've got a reason to praise you. Lord, I thank you, God. You're a great God. You're